All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Tokyo Revengers episode six. I've got nothing to say before the start of the episode, but I'm super hyped for these episodes. They are non-stop bangers, and I'm really enjoying the series so far. So, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's get right into the episode right now. How do they not know they're being followed already? Jana. <laughs> Right, oh, he's born in Red Light District. Oof. Yeah. Jesus. What a childhood. Oof. Oh, I couldn't imagine the pain of having a needle going super speed into your skin, so close to your skull. Oh. oh my god, imagine going into the school in the fifth grade with that. It's because he drank milk every day. <laughs> Damn, bro is crazy. I want to see what Mikey was like in elementary school. <laughs> Yo, look at him. <laughs> it's crazy that he isn't. He's tiny, but then he's tiny in present day as well, so. What? I don't think so, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Bro, Mikey said it's on site. Holy shit. That's how you make an entrance. Go straight for the leader. Oh my god, he's a little savage. Holy shit. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, bro. Holy shit. These two kids in elementary school beating ass, bro. Holy fuck. Is that Mikey, though? Oh, Sunai. Sorry, who was this in the past? I, I, I don't remember. Bro, what is going on here? This looks like it's been eating him alive for the past 12 years. Really? So someone from inside Toman did take down Draken, but like... There's absolutely no way it was Mikey. Or maybe it was Mikey and yeah, like they say, someone... Put them against each other somehow. Oh, <laughs> and save! <laughs> His pompadour going crazy. <laughs> a hairstylist, that's cool. <laughs> young kids, well, it's kind of a trope. Young kids will never get to say these kind of things to each other. So it's probably nice for him to be able to hear that from one of his friends. God, he has so many people that he wants to save now. It's going to be hard to convince them of these guys around. It's got to be this guy then. He's got to be pulling some bullshit. Maybe it's not this guy. Maybe he's just enraged because of what happened to his friend. I don't know how this is going to play out then. What is going to set these two against each other? You see, him saying it like that it just sounds like he has no faith in Toman, but he knows really what's going to happen. Who is this? Ooh, who is it? Oh, this is him? God, he looks different. Oh, God, this looks like a gang, man. Now? Today? Was this supposed to happen? Holy shit. Mikey does the same thing and he just beelines straight for the leader. Oh my fucking god. No way. That felt like two minutes, man. What the fuck? So that was Tokyo Revengers episode six. Fuck, man. I don't know how this is going to work and things keep changing because I don't think this was supposed to happen. The entire of the kind of Mobius gang pulling up on these four well, five guys, technically, including Takemiji. Um, so how is it changing? I don't know. And who is it within Toman that's kind of pulling strings to set Drake and Mikey against each other, potentially? I don't know. Because this guy in the future, the head of the Mobius gang, seemed properly shook up as to what, what happened on August 3rd. And like you said, it was the catalyst that caused whatever was going to happen between these guys. Oh, God, I don't know, man. 
Like, is it possible? And like, if it's true, don't confirm this. It's just me speculating and theorizing. But is it possible that Takemiji coming into the past and messing about with this kind of stuff is what sets Mikey and Drake in against each other? Because we saw a little glimpse of it there. And I thought it was kind of going to be shook off, but then Mobius came in and interrupted. But like it hadn't happened yet when when we knew still in the present that Drake in versus Mikey happened. Takemiji hadn't made this interruption yet, so it's it's confusing. I don't think, surely not. Surely Takemiji can't be the cause of it, but I don't know. I'm really really interested to see where it's going to go. Because I really am enjoying the story and I need to know really how this all happens. Like, who is it that kills Draken? And he said, someone said Draken was stabbed, I think. There's no way Mikey would stab Draken. If Mikey was going to kill anyone, surely it would be with his fists, right? There's no way. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it and uh, really enjoyed this episode and I'm looking forward to the rest. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.